we have the indefinite integral of 2x plus 1 over the square root of x plus 4 solution. So in a problem like this, um, the natural thing to try is a u substitution. So if you do that, if you start by letting u be what's inside the square root, we do get stuck, I believe. Let's see. So u is equal to x plus 4. Then computing du, well, you just get dx. And so now we're stuck. And, and the reason we're stuck is because we have a 2x plus 1 here in the numerator. And we don't have that in our dx. So the strategy is to go back and use your substitution again, right? So you can take this and you can solve it for x. So to solve this for x, you would subtract 4 from both sides. So you would do minus 4, minus 4. These cancel. And so you get x equals u minus 4. Okay? And so now you make your substitution. You can go ahead and make it now. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the indefinite integral of 2, and we said our x was u minus 4. So it's parentheses u minus 4 plus 1, all over, and then we know that x plus 4 is u. So this is the square root of u du. So again, you let your u be what's inside the square root, you compute du, and then you say, okay, now I'm stuck. Why? Well, you have to deal with this numerator here. So the only way to deal, that, to deal with that is to get rid of the x. That has to be something in terms of u. So you take this equation and you solve it for x, so subtracting 4 from both sides. So you get x equals u minus 4. So you just take the x and you plug it in, right? You plug it in, so it becomes u minus 4, right? That's your u minus 4. And now we should be able to work through this like, just by rewriting things and breaking it up. So this is the indefinite integral. Let's see, 2 times u is 2u. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And then we still have the 1. And on the bottom, we have the square root of u. I'm going to go ahead and write this as u to the 1 half because we're going to break it up in a minute. So this is equal to the indefinite integral of 2u minus 7, right? Negative 8 plus 1 is 7 over u to the 1 half du. And now we'll break it up. It'll be 2u over u to the 1 half minus 7 over u to the 1 half du. So this is equal to, so there's a 1 here, so you could subtract. So you get 2u to the 1 half minus, and then you can bring this upstairs. So it's 7u to the negative 1 half du. Now you can use the power rule, right? There's a 1 half here, so you add 1. 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves. When you divide by 3 halves, you multiply by 2 thirds. Right, we're adding 1. 1 plus 1 is 3 halves. So dividing by that, you get 2 thirds. Right? Dividing by 3 halves is the same thing as multiplying by 2 thirds. Here we're adding 1. So 1 plus negative 1 half is 1 half. So we're dividing by 1 half. Dividing by 1 half is the same thing as multiplying by 2. Then we have our plus c. This is equal to 4 thirds. And we said u was equal to x plus 4. So it's x plus 4 to the 3 halves minus 14, and then x plus 4 to the 1 half plus c. Sorry, I rushed there at the end, running out of time. That's it.